in terms of uh, clothing at home Sheikh, uh, are there any guidelines uh, what you can wear at home whether you are, whether you are a man or a woman in front of your siblings your parents or even alone in seclusion with your with your spouse because we've heard that uh, the jinn can also see you when you are at home so does that mean that you have to cover yourself up so the jinn will not see your aura or what are the guidelines for what okay. you can show طيب بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله um, with regards of uncovering yourself completely yes uh, first of all the statement of Anoa is a beautiful statement he said that uh, if there is a need for it then it is allowed provided that no non mahram sees you Okay, or provided that uh, no one who is not allowed to see you is seeing you. And those who are allowed to see the full body of the uh, person are the spouse, the spouses. Okay. And then he said, so if there is a need, it is allowed, provided that it is not seen by uh, other than the spouse. If there is no need, then the scholars differ about it if there is no need yani a person he is fully naked in the room by himself okay the scholars differ about it some scholars said it is makruh and some other scholars said that it is what it is haram yeah and uh, they said those who said that it is haram they said that in the hadith the man came to the prophet sallallahu said my aura what shall i cover from it He said, احفظ عورتك إلا من زوجتك. Protect your aura except from your wife. Yeah, because as we said, the wife, uh, or because of, because the wife is allowed to see the full body of her husband, and the husband is allowed to see the full body of his wife. احفظ عورتك إلا من زوجتك. إلا من زوجك. And then, طيب, he said, uh, if, if I am by myself alone, He said, then you should what? You should be more embarrassed before Allah. فَاللَّهُ أَحَقُّ أَنْ يَسْتَحْيَا مِنْهُ Then you should have haya before Allah. So and now he said, if there is no need to uncover your aura, just to sit by yourself, okay, then it is uh, haram, uh, according to his opinion, although some other scholars said that it is makruh. Yani, anyway, you should avoid it if there is no need to do so. Uh, definitely, if there is someone who is looking at uh, your aura or might see your aura, then this makes it haram. Now, this is in terms of being fully naked. طبعاً, what now we said that if there is a need to be fully naked, then it is not makruh, it is not haram. And the scholar said that when you have a shower, this is one of the needs. And they said that it looks that, it looks that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam took a shower okay, without his full clothes on. It looks like that. Uh, in hadith Maymuna, uh, تجرد واغتسل تجرد means he took his clothes and اغتسل for the ihram. And uh, it, it is clear that the life, uh, that it is apparent or it is likely that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did take a shower with some of his wives with uh, without his uh, clothes on okay this is what the scholar said in hadith Aisha you know when she said that uh, it would happen that I wash uh, or I take shower with the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam from from a container that has the the traces of ajin of dough in it And I say to him, leave some water for me. And he would say to me, leave some water for me. So the apparent of the, from this, as many scholars said, that uh, they, they, the Prophet ﷺ was not wearing his uh, clothes sallallahu alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam in that uh, case. So this is with regards to taking off your clothes completely. Okay? Now, With regards to uh, what to wear in front of the siblings, generally speaking, you need to protect your major aura. And the major aura is the 
private parts and what is surrounding the private parts for the men and uh, for females is that plus the chest okay that should be covered in front of the siblings and most of the scholars believe that also uh, the major aura includes the parts of the body up to the knees and up to the navel in terms of the uh, up to the knees and up to the uh, navel yeah this should be covered in front of the siblings and uh, the uh, ladies should cover also their uh, chest even in front of their siblings yeah and in front of people from the same gender men in front of men and women in front of women some other scholars said that if ladies want to breastfeed their children yeah then if it is one off if she is not exposing her chest completely yeah and she's doing it quickly then that can be overlooked in front of the siblings see i mention this because some people say yeah well it was reported that women used to breastfeed in front of their other women or siblings and therefore the chest is not aura the chest of a lady or the breast of a lady is not aura in front of her siblings or in front of uh, other ladies no that doesn't mean this when she breastfeed most likely the, the, the breast is almost covered either by her baby or by other clothes there is a difference between uh, the, the odd situations yeah one off situations and no imagine imagine would it be acceptable for one of the sisters to be fully naked yes and uh, exposes her breast fully okay and being topless in front of her sisters it is not acceptable no one can say that this is allowed okay this is inshallah the ruling for that jazakallah khair